Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, guys? It's Attack on Samurai, and welcome to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Showdown Live for you guys today. So, again, still New Year's for me, so, uh, again, Happy New Year's and such. So, um, gonna be playing in, uh, in the UU tier, uh, cause you know UU is starting to get a little bit more fun for me. So, um, so yeah, so before we get started with the team, um, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord Bushido Gang, and again, subscribe for some more content on the channel. And also follow me on Poke Amino. So, um, so yeah, so for this, um, for this shot on live, I'm gonna be using this, uh, this little team I, uh, I cooked up around, uh, Mega Bayonet. So, um, if you guys want to skip the battles, it'll be right there, so you guys can see it, like the little number and everything. So, so yeah, you can just skip to uh, to that timestamp. Um, but we have uh, Skullington, the uh, Mega Bayonet with a uh, Destiny Bond, uh, Knockoff, Shadow Sneak, and Taunt. So this was a really weird set. Um, also, like some background information, I actually used to really, really like Mega Bayonet back in um, back in Oras for some real from for some really weird reason. I think it was just because like it just looked really cool. And I just wanted to use it. That was pretty much it. <laughs> and also, like I was really hyped that this mon got Gunk Shot, which means I was able to uh, to beat down mons like a uh, Clefable and such back in OU. Um, but um, but yeah, like right now with Mega Bayonet and a uh, UU. Well, I mean RU, but um. But yeah, um, basically what this bond's meant to do is to kind of set up for the rest of my team. It's got Destiny Bond, so that way, after this bond is able to 1v1 something and drop, I can bring in something else to set up with. So I can bring in Scizor, which I'll go into its set real quick, or I can bring in Terrakion, which I'll also go into its set real quick. Um, Knockoff is there to get rid of items. Um, also, its attack set is very high. Like, one... Wait, no, hold up. Like, 165 base attack is pretty, pretty strong. Um... So it's almost at 500, which is insane. Um, but in terms of Mega Bayonet's stab, its stab is really bad. Like the best, the best stab it has is pretty much Shadow Claw, which is 70 base power, or actually Phantom Force, which is like base 90. But it, um, but it's a Ghost type move, and it can also go through Protect. But that's really it. Um, so yeah, it's not really the best move in in my opinion. Um, but yeah, again, Knockoff is here to get rid of items. Shadow Sneak is there for, pri for priority. And then Taunt, again, kind of helps with the uh, setting up. So, um, so yeah, it's EV spread's pretty weird. I made it so that way it can outspeed Pre-Marina. Um, so that way, like, if we, so that way if it comes down to it, I'm probably gonna have to, uh, speed tie with it. Or potentially, you know, just have, have that Mon knocked out. Because if I get that, if I get rid of Pre-Marina, or any kind of, like, offensive Mon out the way, then it's gonna be a lot easier for my team to, uh, put some work in. So, uh, yeah, I do have to worry about Mons like Bisharp, though. Bisharp will definitely be an issue for this team um but again uh yeah that's pretty much it for uh mega bayonet uh next we have scissor um so scissor is going to be um a very offensive set with um being jolly nature uh max attack max speed uh with sword stance superpower bullet punch and mo and a uh, i don't say mock punch and a uh, bug bite so basically like i said uh, after Skullington is able to, you know, like, Destiny Bond something or Taunt something, it's pretty easy for me to just bring in Scizor and then just start setting up. Um, depending on the, uh, matchup, of course. Um, but, uh, Superpower, uh, turning into Fighting MZ, or Fighting MZ, um, Superpower turning into, uh, a lot of Pummeling. I was gonna be doing a lot to Monster like Cobalion and, uh, even, uh, Mega Aggron to some extent, uh, getting some chip damage on that. Uh, it's pretty good for, uh, for, um, also hitting... Um, like catching Hydreigon on a switch in potentially, um, getting rid of Bisharp as well, which again, like I said, can be a, it could be a, a pretty big threat for me. Deals with deals with um, Empoleon. Uh, it really deals with the Steel types very effectively. Um, BP, uh, pretty good priority, and again, like it's really nice uh, for cleaning late game. So I definitely see Scissor being like a late game on. Uh, Bug Bite is there for to uh, catch again the Dark types and also catch the uh, Psychic types in the tier. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much scissor for you. Um, so yeah, um, it's also tech as well, technician. So again, bug bite and bullet, t and bullet punch will be, uh, boosted. So next we have, uh, Rotom, Rotom Mo. So, uh, I wanted to run Rotom Mo because I needed a, um, felt like I needed, um, some kind of switch initiative. So I decided to go with this. So it's running Leaf Storm, Volt Switch, Defog, and T-Bolt. I'm running Defog because I really don't like hazards up, um, on my side. Um, so I wanted to, uh, to have it just cause, uh, again, Leaf Storm, 
is pretty much there to deal with a uh, mega not mega perch to deal with Swampert as a lead. Um, also catch the other ground types in this year like Crocodile and such. Um, Volt Switch is there for Switch Initiative, like I said. Uh, default, we get rid of hazards that could, that could come up on uh, our side. Because, uh, again, like I said, I don't really like rocks or spikes too much. Um, and then T-Bolt is there for, again, like cleaning stuff up and also dealing with uh, water types. Like Lola Mola, Primarina, mods like those. So, uh, yeah. Next, we have Terrakion. So, if it can even get to Terrakion. Okay, there we go. So, Terrakion is a very weird set as well. Uh, I'm running a Taunt SD with the Holding the Stone Plate. Uh, so that way, uh, Stone Edge gets boosted, uh, which is going to be pretty good for, again, um, catching mods on the switch in with, uh, with Edge. This is just going to be a Stone Plate boosted. Um, so again, with Taunt, we stop mods from trying to set up, um, in general. And also, we just stop mods from trying to set up hazards as well. And pretty much allows us to set up a, uh, a Storage Dance. Um, Edge and CC are pretty free in the tier. There aren't too many mods that really want to take a CC or an Edge, um, in this tier, on the, um, in the tier. So, um... So yeah, Terrakion is very, very free to just go for some, uh, just throw out whatever it wants, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. Uh, next we have Mammal Swine. If, can, if it can get to Mammal Swine. Okay, there we go. So we got Mammal Swine. Uh, pretty much gonna be your standard, uh, Sash Lead Mammal with, the uh, Stealth Rocks, Crash, Ice Shard, and Earthquake. Uh, Mammal is one of the best Stealth Rockers in the tier, and one of the best offensive mods in the tier. Being able to, uh, just kind of break down everything. Uh, for the rest of the team so that way again scissor or Terrakion can just have an easier time setting up um, Pretty pretty good at dealing with the steel types as well uh, breaks down a uh, Volcanion I mean knocks out Volcanion knocks out Napoleon does a lot to aggro well, it doesn't do a lot to aggro But it kind of like you know chips it down a little bit um, It's very good at, at applying pressure to a uh, to mons like a Moongus um, It also again like I get hazards up and it's really easy uh, to uh, chip down the rest of my team and to chip down the rest of my opponent's team depending again on their matchup um, And again like icicle crash like ice and ground coverage is really really nice in the in the OU tier again Not a lot of mods really take it that well. So um So yeah, ice shards also a really good priority being able to uh, deal with mods like mega pidgeot that are like really fast um, and as well as uh, Mega Altaria to some extent deals with the uh, hackers pretty well, too um, Hacksters takes like 60 I think from Ice Shard, so like if they're at like really low health or whatever, then Ice Shard's gonna be able to clean that off. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much gonna be it for Mammal Swine. Um, and also Earthquake, like I said, is very free. So, uh, so yeah. Then lastly, we have the Mon itself. We got the, uh, the hardest hitter in UU. We have Choice Specs, uh, Primarina, with a Hydro Pump, Scald, Moonblast, and Psychic. Psychic is there to deal with the Moongus. Moonblast hits everything in the tier. Scald is there for burns, and then Pump just hits everything for a lot. Also, if we go to Torrent, then Pump is going to be doing so much damage. Like, no Mon is going to be able to take it that well. Maybe a Moongus, but it won't, it'll probably do like 50. It probably, mm, actually, I'm being too generous. It'll probably do like 40% at most, uh, if it's in Torrent range. So, um, so yeah, can't wait to use this team. Uh, pretty excited about it, and I think this team's gonna be, is, and I think this team is going to be putting in some massive, massive work. So uh, let's get it. So let's see what my opponent is going to bring to the table. As long as my thing doesn't freeze. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, bet. Um, his only his only lead for Hadrus is going to be either Cobalion or uh. Or this, which means that I can bring Skellington in, and I can just leave with it. Stop him from trying to get Hadrids up. And then I could possibly go into Terrakion, and then just kind of like force him out right away. Like, Terrakion's very good against him. It's very, very good against him. So, I definitely want to try and keep it alive as much as I can. And I'm probably going to have to try and go first Destiny Bond on the on the on uh, on this Mon right here. If I get rid of the Crawdont, then it's very easy for Terrakion to just like kind of uh, go through him. So he will lead with either this or this. I'm going to lead with Skellington to uh, stop him from trying to get hazards up. Terrakion actually would have been a better lead though. He actually had Moltres. Ooh, I don't like that actually. <laughs> I really don't like that. Um, I think I should let Primarina. He might be Z. I could see him being Z on this. I really could see it. Um, What's more important? If he's Z, I'm in a really, really crappy position. And again, the way his team is looking, I really do think this is Z Moltres. 
So I think it's better for me to Destiny Bond this more than it is to Destiny Bond the Crawdon. Just because Pre Marina can also uh, take its hits very well. So it's a very, very big risk. But I think I am forced to Z. Even though Terrakion still like kind of does work anyway. Mm. I'm not going to Z. I'm just going to Mega Evolve and just go for a uh, knockoff. See what he does here. Did he Z? He did Z. I'm mad. I'm so mad I didn't just... <laughs> oh, I'm so mad I didn't just go for it. I really should have just went for it. It was so obvious. Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Whatever. We're just going to ignore that. I just bring Terraki on it, and he's forced to go into, uh, go into this. Because there's no way. There is no way you're crazy enough to stay in. Like, you're, you're actually insane if you stay in right now. You should go hard into Gligar, which means I go hard into Mammo. So please switch. Please switch and be smart. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm getting rocks up now. <laughs> and I'm about to mess him up. So yeah, like I said, this team is going to be putting in the work against him. Goes into uh, Cobalion. Uh, I'm still going to Earthquake this because, again, I want to go for damage. And I want this mod to get neutered. It's probably gonna it's probably gonna drop anyway if he's not um defensive, which I'm pretty sure he's not. So Earthquake is very free. He's set he's scarf. And he flinches me. <sighs> well guess what time it is? I'm going pre marina, I think. Actually no, I should go into um I should go scissor. Scissor's actually better. Scissor is a crap ton better. So he's yeah, he's gonna, he's just gonna keep trying to flinch me. Um, even though Moltres is going to come out though, but he should go Moltres. I'm going to go Rotom. I'm going Rotom on his Moltres switching. He might even go Gligar though. I could see Gligar coming. I could definitely see Gligar coming out. So let's see. Let's see what my opponent is going to do. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. It's just fast. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> he just got lucky and flinched me. That's really what it was. I thought it was Scarf. But he brought Moltres in, so that's cool. Um, he should switch out, though, and go into a Gligar. But, I mean, if he doesn't, then I get a free Volt Switch off. But he should be smart and go Gligar. Oh, cool. Dead Moltres. So now I bring Mammo in. <laughs> well, actually, no, I can't do that yet because he should definitely... He should definitely... Um, I'm going to go Primarina. Primarina is actually better. Primarina is a crap ton better because, again, Pump is very free. And if he goes into this, then he's kind of forced to go Leaf Storm, which allows me to go into uh, go into Scissor and then just start setting up on him. Which again, like I said, Scissor kind of just wins. Well, it kind of wins after, you know, this gets chipped. He went hard Rotom, so he is going to Volt Switch or go for uh, Leaf Storm. So Scissor is very free. I will go Scissor right now. As he Leaf Storms. Oh, he Volted. Okay, cool. That did a lot. That actually did a lot of damage. I really thought he goes uh, Leaf Storm, but okay, cool. Um, he will CC me. Kind of upset about that, that he's about to do that. Um, but it's very obvious he will CC. So I think I have to go into Pre Marina. Because I know I can take it. He's probably going to get Rocks up anyway. But no, no, he should definitely CC. This mod's a big issue for him. I'm going Pre Marina because it's obvious. He will CC. Yep. CC does not do enough to uh does not do enough. So pump is very free. Pump is super free, honestly. Pump is probably gonna knock out uh, it's probably gonna knock out the uh, Crawdon. Um and also I want to make sure that you know Neo Lego gets uh gets neutered as well. So I think pump is very is very free for me. So I think I should go for it. Pump might actually knock this out. It's actually a pretty big might. Moonblast is actually better. What am I doing? <laughs> Moonblast is a crap ton better. He does Volt Switch out. Um, I do get a free Moonblast on something. As he goes Rotom, so Rotom's dead. Cool. Rotom is not living this. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> um, he will go into this now. Definitely. I can see this coming out, or he could go back into Cobalion. But if I were him... Oh, wow. He really went back into it to go for, to go for Iron Head. Cool. Um, Alright, well, I'm probably going to have to sack Mammo from the looks of it. Actually, no, I shouldn't sack Mammo. I think, if anything, I should just go Rotom anyway. 
I should just go Rotom and uh, clicks Iron Head like I figured. Um, I should just click Leaf Storm because Gligar is definitely coming out. Um, I'm pretty sure it should come out, but if not, then I just bolt out. But let's see. Okay, he just let me get some damage on this, so that's cool. Um, he's probably gonna go for CC, so I think now I should sack something. And I'm thinking. Honestly, who's more important at this point? <sighs> Man. He's going to CC anyway. I really want Turakion to do something, but looking at this, it's looking like Rotom's going to end up winning the late game, I think. And I really do want to keep Scissor al alive because I can actually take a... Because uh, I can resist a Neo Legos, um poison. So... Uh, I think... I think I'm going to have to go back. Into, I think I have to sack Terrakion. I'll sack Terrakion because that allows me a free switch and it's a pre-marina. So, he will he will go for it. He went rocks. Oh my god. Why? Why was that the play? I'm so confused now. Why did he go rocks? He should have went CC. Like, okay. Alright, cool. Um, I'm just going to CC now. I mean, like, Okay, he just sacks it, cool. So he can go into this now and probably set up or just knock me out with Jet. Either way, um, I think I'm fine. He does go Gligar. Um, he's going to Earthquake me. So I think what I should do is let's see. What could I do here? I think I should I think I should just edge anyway. Just for the damage. And then I don't think Premier is not gonna live. I don't think it's not gonna live. It. I don't think it's gonna live after rocks. So I think I need to go edge, then go Rotom, defog, and then go back into Primarina, and then I should win. I think that's the play. I'll edge right now, just for chip, just for some chip. That did a lot. That legit did a lot of damage right there. And I'm gonna taunt you so you can't actually go for a uh, go for defog, and then I can go Mamo. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, actually, I can go Mamo, kind of. Um, I'm gonna taunt so you can't go for uh, go for Roos. Then Mamo's pretty free to come in. Yeah, you're not doing that, and now I can just go for Edge again. I could have SD too. SD would have been nice. Ooh, SD would have been so nice. <laughs> but yeah, Edge is definitely my play. So let's see. Yep, that's going to do a lot, and that should put it in the range where uh, Ice Shark should knock him out. And that is going to give me some chip on Crawdont. He is also going to drop to rocks as well. So yeah, Mamo comes in for free. For the free free. For the freezy freeze. And uh, I go for the Ice Shark. And I uh, definitely get rid of something. So, nice. So, glygar has gone, which means that I definitely, definitely win 100% with, um... With either pins, with I want to say pincer, with either a uh, scissor, or the um. No, I actually do win with scissor. I definitely win with scissor. He has to go into a. Uh, he has to go into this right now, and he has to either jet me or predict me to do something dumb. That's all I can do. He has to predict me the choke, but he should definitely just jet. Like that's his only play. So I earthquake now. Yeah, he did jet, and. Hmm. No, I just I just go Rotom and then just uh just yeah that's what I do I just go Rotom and just Volt. That should definitely be my play, cause he has to go into this to have a chance to win. And if not, then yeah, like I said, uh, Scissor just wins. Yeah, he does go Neo Lego like I like I uh, figured, and now I just go into uh go into Scissor, click BP twice, cause BP is gonna do a lot to this as well. Um. Jet will knock me out. Jet will definitely knock me out. Should I just Z predicting the <laughs> predicting this to come out? Nah, I'm I'm gonna play it safe and just BP. I really wanted to Z though. I really I should have went for this. <laughs> I'm so mad I didn't go for Z. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad I didn't go for Z. Now I gotta sack something. What if he actually predicts me to switch though? And just goes for a. Well, again, even if he does, I think T bolt's gonna be enough. And I still live after rocks too. So if he tries it, I mean, it's not really going to matter. Um, I'll just go pre-marina. It's fine. 
Just go pre marina and then just click a skull. So let's see. You went jet. That's fine. That's definitely bandit. That is 100% bandit. And bandit will not be enough to knock out Rotom. So yeah, I just T bolt twice and that should be game. From the looks of it. So yeah, he just uh, goes jet again, knocks me out. I go into this, click T bolt twice, and that should be game. Or maybe not. I think I should volt again, but I think he's going to try and, like, bait me. So, I definitely T-bolt twice. Because that should be enough. Let's see. How much volt did... Yeah, I just T-bolt twice. I'm good. So, yes, yeah, so I wrote him ended up winning. Cool, cool, cool. Unless you're Scarf. Actually, we hold up. He might be Scarf. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want to do anything dumb. <laughs> he could be Scarf. Looking at this team. He's already saying GG. He already knows. He already knows. He must be Scarf. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> He's really Scarf. No, 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 no. Hold up. I need to see that Rotom again. What did Rotom do? Did Rotom ever switch up his moves? Rotom went Volt. Or no, that was posing Rotom went Volt. Okay. Or took that much volt. I really want to make sure I won this game, so I'm just trying to like look at all the plays. Cause again, like, how did how did his rotom drop? I forgot what I did to his rotom. Um, volt. No, I didn't. I I went for the moon blast. Z. FDs. Okay, I'm just gonna click it. V scarf, he got me. Yeah, he scarf. That actually killed too. Oh, if I just went for the Z, I would have just won. Damn it. Oh, I knew he was scarf too. I knew he was scarf. Oh, I'm so bad. I knew he was scarf, man. If I just Z'd. Oh, I could have just got him right there. If I just Z'd, I would have gotten. Oh, this was such an intense game. <laughs> oh, this was such an intense game. GG. But I'm, I'm actually still mad about that. And then, oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, man. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, whatever. Fine. Fine. I'm, I'm still upset about that, though. I gotta get another game because of that. That just, that just really blew me. That legit just really blew me. Sorry if you heard that. That was my um That was my video. Just finished uh finished editing or loading. Uh is this gonna work or no? Let's see if this works. I wanna see if this works. Okay, there we go. Alright, music's working. Um This team right here does not like Mamo at all. Like this team actually hates Mamo. It also really hates Pre Marina too, so these moms these both are they're both about to put some work in. So, let's see. He will definitely leave with this. Because this is probably his only rocker. Actually, no. This is a rocker. What am I saying? So, I think... I don't want to leave Scissor. Because I don't want to get trapped by this. So, I think I have to leave Mammo anyway. I even I don't like Mammo's a lead. I leave this. I leave, I leave Skellington. Just in case he... <sighs> Alright. Moltres is coming out. <laughs> they always leave Moltres, man. <laughs> but... Um... Yeah, this is Z. This is definitely Z. Um, okay, how much do I need Bayonet? How much do I need Mega Bayonet for this game? Sneak is gonna be okay, but at the same time, I really don't need it. I'll just Mega. And I'll go for the Destiny Bond, just to see if he actually goes for the Z, which I'm pretty sure he will. So, I'm gonna double down this. Let's see. Did you go for it? Oh, man. If you went for Z though, that would have been sweet, but yeah, he didn't go for it. Um Yeah, Destiny Bond still is gonna work, I think. Because I think it works for like two turns. So if he switches, then I mean fine. But if not, then I'm just gonna knock off something. But yeah, he's gonna drop here, I think. Yep, alright, cool. So we got rid of the Moltres, which is tough. Um now it's looking like It's looking like Rotom wins. Rotom wins the late game. If I play it right. 
Um, but he'll he'll definitely lead or he'll definitely go arrow. So I think I'm gonna go pre marina actually. Yeah, actually I like that a lot. I'm going prim. I'm going prim because I know this. Yeah, exactly. This mom's gonna come out, and I think I live edge too. That's kind of a pretty big risk though. It's a very big risk that I'm making that I'm taking right here, but I think it's pretty free to make. So I'm gonna go for a skull. Potentially catching the chestnut. Even though Moonblast is actually freer, but I like Skull better. Because again, burning something's gonna be really nice. Um, but Pump is just so much better. But Skull Skull drops us anyway. So let's see. He went for Edge and Miss. Oh, you poor thing. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm really sorry that happened to you. But at the same time, I don't care that much. Uh, Taunt Magnus Taunt's gonna come out. He could Flash Cannon. He could freely flash, flash cannon, but if I were him, I think, uh, I mean, he should flash cannon, though. Ah, he didn't. Nice. That means I get rocks up. So, uh, they're going up now. Goes chestnut. The big knot's in here. The big knot. Um, I'm going, I could crash. I could definitely crash. But crash is going to do that much anyway. So, I think my, the best play... It's probably going to be slow anyway, I think. Mm, I'm fine. He should Moonblast, though. I mean, he should go for Wood Hammer or some fighting move. So, yeah, and I don't want to sack this. This mod's too good. Um, Let me think. Uh, I could go Scissor and try and set up. But I don't like that play either. I think I have to go Rotom. Let's go Rotom. <laughs> Goes Drain Punch, like I figured. That did a lot, actually. Okay, I'll vote out. So, if he has Drain Punch, then... Okay, alright, cool. So, this comes in. Uh, and now Primarina comes in and claims something. So, uh, it's in. It's it's in now. It's in. Primarina's in. It's time to kill something. Uh, cause you definitely drop at this range. I'm pretty sure you drop at this range. So, I skull. Alright, goodbye. And now he has to go into the, uh, to Chestnut again. Which means I have to go back and road him. Oh, he went scissor. Oh, he's crazy. He's trying to, he's trying to do something with this. I see, I see you, bro. What you got on you? What you got on you? BP's not gonna kill me at this range. I get scald here too. I should skull. I think I have to. I actually think I have to skull. I legit can't. I legit don't have any other play. So I have to skull here. Oh wait. Huh? Why did he crit me though? <laughs> Why did he crit me though? Oh, okay, I crit him back. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm glad to take that crit back. Uh, Magnus Hunt comes out. He's probably gonna flash cannon now at this range. So I'm gonna predict that flash cannon and go scissor and start setting up on him. Actually, I should just. Uh, I don't think I should do that. He does flash cannon. That did a lot. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, man, why did it do so much damage? What the fuck? I did a lot. Specs is insane. Uh, but yeah, I have to Z. I have to now. Oh, I outsped him. Nice. All right, goodbye. Uh, now he's gonna go into this now, and I can just set up on him with the SD. SD and the BP should be enough, or in the bug bite should uh, do some good damage. Goes for SD. Oh, okay. I see you, bro. I see you. You want me to do it again? I can do it again. I could definitely do it again, but I don't want to do it again. I'm just gonna go bug bite. They did a lot. That's just some decent damage. Um, Crash. Okay, now I'm thinking he's max speed, which means that Primarina is probably not going to outspeed this. The fact that he's running SD and Drain Punch. <laughs> he's got to be max speed. Or he has to have some speed investment. So he's probably going to outspeed me. But I have to go for it anyway. And hope Primarina outspeeds. Come on, Primarina. You can do it for me. Come on. Come on, please. Please do it for me. I know you can do it. I believe in you. You got this. You got this. Just Moonblast. Just, just Moonblast, please. Stop. Thank you. Okay, good. That's game. All right, nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was that was too that was too much suspense. That was way too much suspense. He was pretty high too. I'm pretty much back to where I started. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do one more game, and then after this, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna go eat because I got some uh got some New Year's dinner to uh to go eat. Then I also got to uh, finish packing my stuff because I'm going to be leaving tomorrow. 
So, uh, yeah, I don't like how it's so quiet. Can the music work? Like, come on. Let me just refresh it, and it'll probably work now. It probably didn't work because I had my video uh, still, like, loading. So, hopefully it works now. All right, uh, going to be the last game, and it's looking like... I think I fought this guy before. This team looks very familiar. I probably did fight him before. Um, I want to lead with Mammo. Mammo's not bad, but he should definitely 100% lead with Pert. So that means I always 100% lead with Skellington, and I stop him from trying to get Hatters up. Which I think is probably better for me. I think this is actually a game that Skellington can actually do without killing itself. So, <laughs> I think I might lead with it. Because, I mean, if I lead Rotom, at least Rotom's going to be pretty obvious. Then I don't really have a good switch in for Rotom. Yeah, Rotom's going to be a problem for me, too. I have to lead Skellington, then. If I get rid of Rotom, yeah, he he loved with it too. He knew, he knew this mom was gonna be a problem. He knew, he knew what was up. Um, but yeah, I had to go. I could taunt him. He might be defensive, but looking at this team, I feel like he's choice scarf. He's gotta be. He's gotta be offensive on this team. So I definitely have to go for the knockoff right now. So I'll go for it. It's pretty free. Allows me a little bit of chip. He actually went for toxic, so that's fine. I get a little bit of a little knockoff right there. He's Papa Berry. That's cool. That's cool. The toxic does kind of suck, but at the same time, though, does, it does mean that he can't burn me. So that's pretty good, honestly. So I will gladly take that. But yeah, I'm happy this is the first game that I don't have to sack uh, Skellington right away. So he will go for overheat now, I'm pretty sure. Um, He might even volt, though. I feel like he'd volt. But at the same time, though, at the same time, overheat's still pretty free. So... But, no, nah, no. Nah. Okay, let me think about this. Like, in terms of what he wants to do. If I were him, I'd get rocks up. So, I'm pretty sure he's going to try and Volt Switch out now. So, I think I'm pretty fine to just stay in and just go for knockoff. If he switches out, then... I mean, if he stays in an overheat, then that's fine. I get, some, I get some chip on it. And I also got rid of his berry. So, we can't get any... So, he can't get any recovery. Um, but if I if I do get the knockoff right and I do get some chip on something to knock off knock off an item, then I'll gladly take that. So I will knock him off, regardless of what he does. He did volt, so that's get so that's gonna like chip me down a little bit. But I will be able to uh, chip something else down, and also get some uh, and also knock off something. So I will gladly take that. So we knocked off the uh, toge kiss, which is fantastic, honestly. Um, I will gladly gladly take that. And now what I want to do here is go into. He will probably go for flashkin. Actually, he might he might nasty plot. I can see him going nasty plot or or even air slash, but I think air slash is, is is the better play for him just because like he is pretty free to just go for it anyway. Um, I could taunt him to prevent him from going for the for the nasty plot, but I really don't think I can do much about that. And I don't want my sash broken, so I think I have to go road him anyway. So let's see. He did go for nasty plot. Oh, man, that sucks definitely sucks i knew he was gonna do it too i knew he was um but yeah he should go into the swampert now if anything because i don't think you want this mon to drop and i also outspeed you too so if i were you i would definitely go pert on the electric move because i mean you're already at plus two so i'm gonna go for leaf storm predicting you to go into pert there's no way you stay in you're bad for staying in i don't understand that i really don't I really don't get that play. I don't understand how people make plays like this. Like, I get it. You're at plus two, but I have a Rotom. Like, bro. Like, I, I just... <sighs> I just don't understand people. I, d I really don't. So now I have to sack Skellington and I have to bring Rotom back out. And then I know this time... Alright, whatever, man. Whatever. I have to sack this now. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna sack it now. Even though it's too... Nah, I need to keep this alive. So that way I can actually break this. So that way I can actually win with uh, these mons. So now I have to sa so now I have to go scissor. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go scissor right now. Cause he goes roost. Okay, that doesn't really matter too much. Um, I can just SD on him. But if I were him, actually, yeah. Mm. But nah, I don't think that's the play. It's gonna do a lot though. But no, nah, it's not gonna do that much, especially if he's running this set. So, I think, oh man, I hate his team. I'm just going to SD, I don't care. He went Rotom. 
Now I'm really mad he made that play. Okay. Um, now I gotta make now I gotta make some more plays. Felt overheat now. I'm going into um I'm going to Rakion. And I'm about to edge something. Yup. Now I'm about to edge something. I'm about to edge somebody. Somebody getting the getting that edge right now. Getting that edge up. I'm actually gonna SD. I think SD is actually better for me. But scissors pretty pretty likely to come out. If I had rock in him, this would be so easy to just hit right now. I'll just edge. I already know it's coming out. I already know scissors are coming out. Oh, he went pert. Now I'm really mad I didn't make that play. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta go Rotom. As I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I gotta go Rotom. I could taunt it. I could taunt, but... Terrakion's too important for me to not do that, so... I have to go and, uh... Gotta go Rotom now. As, uh, he does get rocks up. He went top. What the fuck? Okay, alright, whatever. I'm bo I'm going for Volt. You don't, you don't stay in. You don't stay in. You really don't stay in. You really, really don't stay in. Okay, thank God he switched. Okay, I'm going back into this now. And this time, I'm actually going to be clicking SD. Because it's very obvious he's going to go back into it. And I'm going to taunt him again. So he can't actually get rocks up. Then I'm about to go for another SD. So that's what's going to happen. You're going to get rocks up now. Okay, no, I'm bad. I'm actually bad for that. I'm actually so bad for that play. <laughs> I'm just really bad. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just really upset. Like I'm. I'm legit upset about how the way he's playing, cause like it's just, it's just pissing me off how he messed up with the how he played around that toe kiss. Like, don't stand. Don't stand. Don't stand. Don't stand. Don't stand. Please, please don't stand. Just have a brain and switch. Thank you. All right. All right. Um. I'm still in a crappy position, but I can at least, like, sneak him and knock him out. So, I'll go for that. I'll go for the sneak and knock out this Rotom. Because this Rotom's been pissing me off this whole game. So, uh, goodbye, Rotom. Nice. Alright, we got rid of the Rotom. So, at least, at least I picked off something. At least I picked off something. Um, he goes to the kiss. Um. Hmm. <sighs> I'm going Destiny Bond. Come on, man. Do it. Do it. There you go. Goodbye, Togekiss. All right. Nice. So now that means that... Looks like Rotom wins. Uh, no, Rotom doesn't really win. But I'm pretty sure... Scissor might come out. But Primarina is pretty... I gotta go Primarina. Okay, no. He went Subtile. Alright, I did not expect that. I honestly thought he'd go Sceptile first. I mean, he'd go into uh, Scissor first. But, cause, I mean, Scissor is a little bit more threatening than Sceptile is. But that's just my opinion anyway. Um, I have to sack Rotom now. Which sucks, honestly. Which really, really sucks. But still, I think Scissor can pull this out in the late game. Uh, I mean, can still pull this out in the end. So, he will go for a Grass move. I just gotta sack Rotom now. At this point. With Giga Drain, that's fine. I can go into Mammo now. And I'm actually going to click Earthquake because it's very obvious that he's going to go Scizor. Even though, actually, no, Pert's more, more likely than not. So, because there's no way you would let me Ice Shard you. And I'm pretty sure Ice Shard knocks you out at that range. Like, it, it knocks you out at full. So, I'm pretty sure you don't stay in. You definitely go into, you definitely go into Scizor. So, I'm clicking Earthquake. Or Pert, okay, that's fine. I'll still take that chip. That's some good chip too. That's some really good chip. He's lefties. Um, I have to go into Primarina. I legit have to go Primarina here. He does toxic. So does he not have rocks? Like he keeps going freaking toxic. Like what the fuck? <laughs> whatever, man. Whatever. I'm just gonna Moonblast. Moonblast is very free. Even though I really should know what's called. That did a lot. What the fuck? Just so much damage. And BP still won't kill me. So I'm still going to hit this. I do not care. What are you doing? Now you lose. <laughs> now you lose, I think. Because I got the chip I needed on this. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good right now. I just went with Scizor now. I legit just went with Scizor. Um, Because again, the Earthquake is still really good. And, worth, and Earthquake actually did a good amount of perk too. It did like 30. So I think... Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I can win with Mammal too. I'll Moonblast again. You're gonna sub? Why? 
It's not gonna break anyway. <laughs> you just made it. You just made yourself weaker. So now I'm. Gonna, so now I'm definitely gonna be winning with with a scissor. So uh, yeah, and you're in range to actually drop to BP too. So um, hi. My name is Scizor, and I'm about to take your life. So uh, what are you gonna do about that? Tell me. Tell me what is your play, man? What is your play? I really hope your play is to actually switch out. Cause I mean, if not, I mean, you you gonna take a, you gonna get destroyed. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm just, that's all I gotta say, man. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna BP. I'm, P, I'm BPing. I don't care. Goes into perk. I don't give a fuck <laughs> about the sub. I'm about to SD. I'm about to SD now. It's an earthquake. That's not gonna do anything. Exactly. And now you're dead. And I just win. It's a GG. This should definitely drop you. All right, sweet. Yeah, that's game now. Cause. Uh, maybe. Honestly, this plus two. It's freaking adamant. I mean, it's freaking jolly. It should still drop. It should still drop. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you serious? It really didn't drop to that? Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> that's hella funny. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Mammo cleans it up. That's cool. I guess if I was adamant, that probably would have knocked him out. But yeah, GG. All right, cool. And I live with ease with the my sash, and that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. I want to do one more, but honestly, this game just left a bad taste in my mouth, just the way he, just the way he played it. So, and I gotta pack my stuff soon. So I think this is gonna be the uh, the last one. Or it's gonna be the end. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this Yu Yu Showdown live. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord Bushido Gang, and again, subscribe for some more content on the channel. Um, also, follow me on Poke Amino. All those links will be down in the description. And uh, yeah, this is probably going to be my last vid while I'm home. So I will see you guys tomorrow when I go back to uh, to my school. So peace out.